This is different, isn't it? Good afternoon and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Lauren and if you are not new, you're probably wondering why the hell I'm sat in a car that I cannot drive. Long story short, we are getting the bathroom done in my house. Really dusty, crusty, noisy. There's drills going off everywhere so it's not really the vibe for a sit down video. A lot of YouTubers film in the car but the difference is they can actually drive the car. I do also feel like there's a lot of eyes on me right now. I feel like my mum and dad are quite cautious the fact that I have the car keys and I could recklessly just drive off into the sunset right now. I'm not going to be driving anywhere. This is not a drive with me. I'm just literally sat in this car absolutely dying it is so hot in this car i cannot breathe and i feel like if i open the windows it'll be really noisy so if i pass out i'm living you guys video i thought i'd bring a q a style video back because i feel like i haven't done one in a while and they are one of my favorites to film i saw one of my youtube friends Haley, do this and it's the tmi tag i think it was a trend on youtube a few years ago maybe if i am correct i'm not really sure to be honest i like to overshare on the internet and i'm getting way too comfortable on this channel so i think it's a great time for me to do the tmi tag I don't know if you heard that, you probably did, it was excessively loud. Question one, we're going in easy with what are you wearing? This is actually a dress, khaki green bodycon dress. I've got this card going on from Primark, which is really, really cute. And then I've got my wide leg crinkly pants and are we ready for some gymnastics? <laughs> I'm not that flexible. I've got my Converse on from Shoe. She put me on the website the other day, I was buzzing. Oh, there's a school bus behind the car. Question two, ever been in love? I have. I've definitely been in love once. I think I might have twice, but I'm not too sure. I guess I was in love with them but it wasn't as extreme as my first love but i think that's given like everyone's first love is a bit more like it just it just hits a little bit harder my neighbors are watching me now my dad's watching me as well for a long time i thought i was in love with someone and then am i just going into this too deeply i always do this i always go off on a ramble and then i'm editing back and i'm like no one cares like no one cares your first love is a lot more emotional my earring just fell out i possibly was in love but it was a lot easier to be by myself have you ever had a terrible breakup emotionally yeah i i'm not very good with breakups in terms of have i ever had a terrible breakup not terrible maybe it felt like at the time but looking back it could have been a lot worse or the average i don't know i feel like they could be worse you gotta look on the bright side how much do you weigh do i want that on the internet why is my dad looking out the window again i'm not gonna drive off i don't even know if what i weigh is average i'm not really sure it's like 10 stone i don't know the specifics but it's around 10 stone right from this point onwards ignore the number of the questions i took some of the boring questions out just because the video is way too long and really boring so yeah um just ignore the numbers <laughs> question six do you have tattoos yes i do have tattoos i've got four tattoos at the moment do i yeah four tattoos i was like do i have five when do i have got five tattoos <laughs> no i don't i have four tattoos i can't count the first tattoo i got was my little rose tattoo that's not got much meaning for my first tattoo i just wanted a small tattoo and rose is my second name so that's as meaningful as that one gets my second tattoo was my sunrise tattoo on the back of my left elbow this is probably the most cringy one do i want to share this meaning basically everyone calls me little miss sunshine they have for quite a long time people always say i'm like sunshine in human form and i absolutely love it it just warms my heart i always wanted a tattoo to do with the sun in some sort but i didn't know what i wanted i think it was on pinterest that i saw it i didn't know if it was a sunset or a sunrise but to me it's a sunrise because it's like me being the sun and like growing up to be who i want to be this is so cringy i can't even cope the next one i got was the girl on my inner right arm she is a metaphor for take care of yourself so she's basically like watering the flowers on her head with the watering can and my final tattoo is the serotonin molecule and i think that might be my favorite as of now but the serotonin molecule um I got it on a really ironic day. I got it on a really upsetting day, to be honest. Me and Mia were sat in that tattoo parlor like, I need this tattoo. I need that physical pain because I can't cope with the mental pain right now. Question seven, do you have any piercings? I am really boring when it comes to piercings, but I do want more. I have got my first done. Obviously, I got piercings because the earring just bloody fell out. I want to get my seconds done. And then I kind of do want a nose ring, but I'm like, not sure. I didn't think it'd suit it for a start and something that i need to think about a bit more question eight who is your one true pairing the first people that come to mind are actually characters not even real people well they're obviously real people but their characters are who i'm gonna ship toby and spencer are pretty little liars to be fair i would absolutely love it if keegan allen and troyan were a thing in real life but i'm pretty sure troyan is very happy with patrick is he called patrick adams something you miss <laughs> Something comes to mind, but if I admitted it in a video, Stephen would absolutely disown me. Now there's a bloody helicopter. Why is everything so noisy today? Something I miss. I kind of miss 2019 me. I also really miss school. 
if I could go back to Chesterfield, I would in a heartbeat. If I could go back to LMA, I mean, I'm going back to LMA, but if I could go back to Hope Street era LMA, I would love to. The best two years of my life. I just miss school. I miss education. I miss having the routine. I've said to loads of people recently that I cannot wait to be back in education. Like, without education, I honestly feel like my life's fallen apart, which is really dramatic. That structure keeps me going. I feel, oh, the earring fell off again. Question 15, quality you look for in a partner. Is it really, really shallow if I say fashion sense again? A better quality. Come on, Lauren. Think of a less shallow one. A quality I look for is someone that's understanding, I guess. There's a lot of things that, like, I can't do because of my mental health and a lot of people, I feel like, can be quite ignorant to it and some people are like, well, that's just weird. Someone that's not judgmental, maybe. Question 16 is, what is your favourite quote? My favourite quote at the minute is something that's honestly getting me through recovery. Like, I look at this every day because it is my lock screen. Not that you can see it because the wheel's in the way. But the quote is, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Question 17, who is your favourite actor? Adam Sandler or Lily Collins. Question 19, loud or soft music? Completely depends. If I'm listening in headphones, it's got to be loud music. If I'm listening out loud, it's soft music. Listening to loud music outside of headphones, I feel like can be a bit obnoxious. I'm really sensitive to noise, even though I'm a musician and I'm always around noise. I feel like noise can make me uncomfortable and I go into sensory overload so much. It's an absolute joke. How long does it take you to shower? I don't know if anyone else gets this. I feel like it is a thing, but the shower makes me so anxious and I don't know if it's because <laughs> it probably is it's probably stemmed from something that happened last year basically I got in the shower I think the water was too hot but I'm not actually sure and I fainted when I got off the shower now I associate the shower with fainting and I'm always like really cautious in the shower like if I feel like the slightest bit dizzy in the shower I'm like oh my god I have to get out and I just really panic in the shower like I try and rush so much in the shower my earring third time take a shot every time my earring falls out if it's just like a body wash it's like five minutes if that if i'm washing my hair it's about 20 minutes to half an hour just because it takes ages to like get soap out of my hair how long does it take you to get ready in the morning i never get ready in the morning because i'm not awake in the morning well actually i've been getting up a lot earlier when i say a lot earlier i've been getting up at like 11 rather than like one three so that's a massive improvement all my friends can do makeup in like 15 minutes and i'm like it takes me about 15 minutes to put moisturiser on because I get really distracted really easily. If I wore makeup for college, I would literally have to get up at like quarter to six in the morning. And that's just unnecessary really, isn't it? Have you ever been in a physical fight? No, but <laughs> one instance I nearly was. Obviously, I didn't start the fight. I am not a confrontational person. But someone did try and start on me once, so that's just a funny story. It was literally years ago. Was it a physical fight? I wouldn't go as far as to say we were about to fight, but... It could have been a bit aggressive. You never know. What are your turn offs? Um, <laughs> bad fashion sense. If I don't like your outfit, I don't like you. No, <laughs> that's not true. I like everyone, but like in a romantic sense, if I don't like your outfit, I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? But boys that are obsessed with cars, I, I just don't know what it is. Like if they can drive, that's great. But when they're obsessed with cars and there's cars all over their Instagrams, I'm just like, and also, I am terrified of fish. Like, I am deadly scared of fish. Like, I won't go in the sea. I won't eat fish. Like, I just don't like fish at all. So when lads go, like, fishing and post pictures with a fish on their Instagram, I just can't. Like, I've never swiped faster in my life. Question 26, the reason you joined YouTube. I made my channel in 2012, but I didn't actually start posting on it till 20. 14 but i didn't actually show my face like it was just me singing covers um with a black screen i always wanted to do like a q a or like just something that wasn't music just so like subscribers knew a bit more about me than just like a voice but i never had the confidence to and mia was in my house one day and we were just sat there and i just bought my mac we were literally just taking the piss on photo booth we weren't like filming a youtube video but we were like pretending we were and we were doing like a fake q a um just recording it and being like lol we're hilarious looking back we weren't that funny at all but it's just funny to laugh at us not with us <laughs> so then i was just like should we actually do this like for real should we actually like film a proper one so we did we were like we might not post it anywhere but we can just do it and see what happens we did it and then i was like you know what i'm just gonna post it so i did i was only ever gonna do that one video and then that video did quite well so i was like maybe i'll do stuff about emetophobia because i always wanted to spread awareness about that but i didn't know like how to on a platform and then that video did quite well and everyone was like why don't you just like carry on so i did the video with me me and casey and i was like this is actually so fun like i found such a love for filming editing and it just went from there really and here we are what are your fears or phobias i think everybody knows my phobia and metaphobia normal fears though i have some other fears that aren't like phobias um fish that's one of them i'm not the biggest fan of the dark i can sleep in the dark but all of last year i had a nightlight <laughs> 
I'm terrified of the ocean, but I don't know if that's like partly because of the fish. Like I won't go in the sea because of fish. But I don't really like open spaces, like big open spaces. Like when you go to like a restaurant, I hate the idea of sitting in the middle. Like I always like a wall or like a corner just because I feel exposed. What is the meaning behind your YouTube name or other usernames? Most of them are self-explanatory because it is my name. But I do have a TikTok account called Search for Sunshine, which is like my mental health account. That is because everyone calls me Little Miss Sunshine. So I thought Search for Sunshine because it's like trying to get my old self back, trying to find like the light and stuff. The last book you read is one that I was really kindly gifted by a lady called Kim. It's her self-help book that came out this month actually. She messaged me on Instagram in March and was like, hi I've got a book coming out. I've seen your post about like mental health and stuff and I'd love it if I could like send you my book and you could read it and like share it with your audience if you like it. And I obviously don't have a big audience but I was like yeah sure like I jumped at the opportunity because I was like oh my god the self-help book I love and that someone noticed that I was like spreading mental health awareness and I was like woo! The last person you talk to who is the last snapchat i sent katie when was the last time you kissed someone was it the end of december or the start of january i can't remember it was january it was january what age did you start drinking alcohol i is that robin's house when we were i think we were 15 shouldn't have said it on the internet should i we were 15 and we were having a sleepover at robin's we were all sleeping in tents in the back garden so the first time to get drunk probably shouldn't have slept in a tent because it wasn't the most pleasant experience ever who is one person you would like to reconnect with Again, I think my friends would have something to say about that. Have you ever drunkenly called your ex? I don't think I've called an ex when have I? I don't think I have. I've definitely texted them. From my recollection, I've never drunk called an ex. Have you ever had your heart broken? I most certainly have had my heart broken. My earring fell out and fell down the sides of the car. I can't reach it. I'm just gonna have to finish the video with one earring in. It's fine. No one needs to know. I've just told everyone, but no one needs to know. Apparently that was the last question. I didn't think it was the last question, but I don't even know how long I've been in this car for, but I feel like the heat is definitely getting to me. I need to put the aircon on. Why is it getting loud? I feel the car's about to take off. Probably will have to redo this outro just because I don't know how loud the camera is picking up the aircon. But the aircon's on the lowest it possibly can be, so I'm hoping it's not too distracting. But anyway, if you got to the end of this video, well done. I think this has been a long one, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Really thankful if you did, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the big thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and I shall hopefully see you in my next video. I love you all so so much. Goodbye.